Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Today I'm going to do one more print and cut tutorial to help Tanika with the flower that she's trying to do. So she gave me a picture of the flower and I'm going to upload it. I saved it onto my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I think I just called it flower. Okay, I had two of these. The first one Tanika had sent me actually had some watermarks on it. So I'm not sure how well that one will work. I'll try that one first and see what happens. And then I was able to find another one on the internet that does not have the watermark on it. So let me try the one she sent me first. Do you see what I'm talking about? You see these little marks up here? Those are watermarks. So I'm going to go to complex and continue. And now I'm going to use that little tool to come over here. Okay, that got rid of everything. But notice this little thing that goes through the dark line. Tanika, remember when I said something about how I was concerned about how it was blurry in certain places of your image? I think that's what caused it. So I think I'll cancel this one and upload the other one I was able to find without the watermarks and let's see how that one works out. So it was YouTube. Wait, flower. Okay, this one. Okay, then I don't think there are any watermarks on this one. So I'm going to go to complex and let me make this smaller so the whole thing is in your field of vision. And I'm going to go to continue. And then as I said, I'm going to get this tool right here, which is called the Select and Erase tool, because what I want to do is get rid of this. And I'll show you why. Because if I just hit Continue here, this shows what it will be as a cut image. Do you see that, Tanika? What's, what it's going to cut is the whole square block. That's not what we wanted to cut. So I'm going to cancel that, or go back. And now I'm going to use this tool and get rid of all the outside jazz. I don't want to cut just like that. Just click it once and it got it all this time and continue. Now look and see what it says it's going to cut. This is what the cut image will look like. Okay, if we do a print and cut, it's going to print this first and then cut it. So then I just go save. And I'm going to insert it. And now if you look up here on the right, you can see that it is a print and cut because the printer is showing up. I'm going to move it up here. Okay, and then I would just go to make it. And it is going to cut. Your machine is going to go around here, your Cricut, with the light. And it's this registration marks help it to know where your image is. And after it goes all the way around there, it'll pause for a minute and then it's going to come back in and it's going to cut just around these petals. So let me show you. Okay, this is what the final flower looks like. Hang on a sec. <laughs> and I hope this helps. I've already taken one out. Here's the second one. I'm just going to take this off. And I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I love this little flower. I think it'll be really cute on a card or something. And I might try to watercolor it or something. But anyway, I hope this helps. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and maybe comment or ask questions. I love it because we all learn when we try to explore how to solve questions. So anyway, again, thank you for joining me. See you again soon. Bye-bye.